Hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, welcome, I'm really excited to make this video because it's a collaboration video between the Ani Va'ami curriculum, Tools for Torah, and Cheder at Home, which is myself. Um, and I'm really excited because I have some really awesome workbooks to show you. Um, and it's also a giveaway, so make sure that you enter the giveaway. All the information is down below in the description. And I will be sh um, showing you a little bit of what's inside these four uh, workbooks, holiday workbooks. There's my very own Yom Tov guide. There is my very own Hanukkah study guide and workbook. And my very own Purim study guide as well as my very own Pesach guide. And these are really, really awesome workbooks. I've actually been going through the, um, the uh, this one, the, the Yom Tov guide, which is all about Tishrei, Rosh Hashanah, Elul, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, um, all those holidays. And I've been actually using this with my own daughter. And so far we really, really love it and are gaining a lot from this. So let's start with my very own Yom Tov guide. It's all about Elul, Rosh Hashanah, the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, and Simchas Torah. As you know, this time of year has so, so, so much happening. And I feel like this workbook really breaks it down. Um, and here's the table of contents. I'll give you just a quick run through. Okay, of just everything that the book has in it. Here's... Yom Kippur, everything about Yom Kippur. I'm trying to get it to focus. I'm sorry, it's not focusing as good as I want it to, but that's okay. The workbook starts off with a story called The King is in the Field. And the whole story is this page, and it's all about Hashem's relationship with us during this month of Elul, how close Hashem is with us. He wants to listen to us. He's listening. Um, he came like it's like he's here with us we can talk to Hashem we can talk to the king and then here at the bottom is a mission and these missions are scattered throughout the book and the mission here for this page is during tefillah today tefillah's davening prayer picture yourself in front of Hashem the king of kings which I just find so beautiful that a workbook it's not just dry information it's this workbook gives you that relationship with Hashem throughout the workbook it's not just information and laws although that is part of it so i'm just turning to random pages because there is so so much information but just so that you can see how much information is on each page um that's rosh hashanah here's tashlich there are these living stories throughout the book as well and me and my daughter have been drinking in these stories they're really well written and very inspiring and all and it's just about developing our relationship with Hashem and I love I love that that is something I I really feel is like a life skill to teach our kids the workbook also does give you information and like laws and customs and things so here for example Yom Kippur it talks about things that we don't do no food or drink and it explains you know, it, well, it says how. It's in this chart. It's very easy to understand. Okay, so now let's go through my very own Hanukkah study guide and workbook. It starts off with talking about light over darkness, which would be what um, Hanukkah is all about. It's spreading light in the darkness. And I just find that to be a beautiful introduction to Hanukkah. What does the name Hanukkah mean? And here's a few of the explanations. And it's written, you know, it's written very simple. It's easy to understand because here's the first name, second name, third name, and then here's a little explanation of it. This page here, it talks about the dreidel and what it means. I mean, there is so, so much in this book but what i also wanted to highlight is this drop everything and read it's a kriya program uh let's see kriya is reading hebrew and here's the instructions for it um but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna time your child or your student one minute or two minutes um and you'll have them read as much as 
they can and then you'll see if they make mistakes what they need to practice and um, how fast they went how many lines they read I think kids really like that competition with themselves and that is the workbook my very own Hanukkah study guide and workbook Purim is everyone's favorite holiday because of all the candy <laughs> and it's just such a fun holiday for kids we could probably go through this whole thing me and my um, eight-year-old when it comes time for Purim because well there's a lot of stuff in here but it's simple stuff so here's why is Purim so special and it talks all about miracles and um, hashkacha pratis like how everything happens and Hashem is there and Hashem is directing everything but sometimes it's really hard to see that Hashem is there um, which is such a wonderful message here it says at the bottom Hashem is hiding in nature um, but he's always with us and that is the message in the very beginning it sets the tone for the rest of the book and I love that and then the second part here is all about joy um, which is also a beautiful thing for kids to learn about, especially in this month, because it's such a happy, fun month. Okay, so it goes through the story of Purim in a very easy to understand way for kids. You can do it as a, re as a read aloud, or your kid can read it quietly to themselves. Um, here it goes through the four mitzvahs of Purim. And there's laws in all the book. There's all the laws. Um, but again, it's not just dry like here at the top. It says, okay, it's the fast before Purim. It says, when we fast, you remember that our fasting and sincere teshuva cause Hashem to see and hear everyone in their time of need. So it mentions Hashem. It's not just talking straight halachas. Like Hashem is here. Hashem is in this workbook. His name is in this workbook. And it I just love that that is mentioned. Kids really need to hear Hashem and hear Hashem's name as we're teaching them about Torah and, you know, Purim story. Um, it also has a Megillah in here, a full Megillah. And it also has a set, okay, it's a Megillah, then the translation of it. And then it has a second Megillah, but with commentary, giving you some deeper insights into it. After that is, let's see, is the review section. And here it has questions, but here it also has some multiple choice. And now let's head on over to Pesach. My very own Pesach guide, textbook and workbook. This one is next. It's also set up in the same way as the other ones, grades three and up. Here is the table of contents. Um, and Pesach also is another one of those really fun holidays for kids. They just love, I don't know, the whole thing about the matzah and the seder. It's all very exciting. And here I love how it's explained. Um, it starts off with our Pesach and it talks all about freedom. Like that would be the theme of the holiday. It would be our journey to freedom. And it talks about how there's a little paro inside of us, a little pharaoh. And that Egypt, Mitzrayim, is not just a place, but it's within us. And anything that and we can escape, like that bad place that's within us. But it's it's written in such an understandable way for kids. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention this in all the other workbooks, but all these workbooks also, like sprinkled throughout the book, is were is building character traits. Um, and you especially see that in the other one, in the Rosh Hashanah guide because there's the missions and those focus on building character. I'm sorry I did not mention that, but I'll mention it now as we're in Pesach here. <laughs> we're learning about Pesach. Okay, so here it talks about the month of Nisan, and I'll give you some flip-throughs of what is in here. Um, let's see. It talks about searching for chametz, and it gives you just a nice insight into it. Um, it's not so dry. It's very um, exciting how it explains it all um here's more explanation about that goes through all the um, parts of the seder plate and it gives you a little paragraph of a deeper insight into what it means so for example here's a hard-boiled egg beitza and it talks about the egg message here another egg message 
is that it's round without any opening. This is as if we are asking Hashem that whoever wants to even say something bad about the Jews should not be able to, just like the egg that has no opening and cannot speak. So here's some more. Here's some more from the book. Um, here it talks about Chol HaMoed, when Chol HaMoed is. Okay, so here's the Yom Tov, then Chol HaMoed is day three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight is the Yom Tov. And here's you know, just a little flip through of all the questions. Here's like a little Seder plate thing they can draw in. And that is my very own Pesach guide textbook and workbook. I hope you found this flip through helpful for you in some way. Check out toolsfortorah.com. It's a great website. There are so many resources on there for homeschoolers. And um, the Aniva Ami website as well also has so, so much on there for homeschoolers. Thank you so much to Tools for Torah, to Rabbi Alevsky for sending these books. We are really, really enjoying them. <laughs> and um, I hope that you will also, if you choose, if you see that this is something that would be helpful for your family, for your school, for your students, whatever it is. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in the giveaway.